Right. That's off. Just, you know, just yank it off. I'm going to leave the dash hanging with the cables connected. And there's four screws on the uh, R link. And so far, I've needed a T20 screwdriver um, as the screws are like a star shape, I guess. We have to use this. I can bench press 60 kilograms, but I can't unscrew this. Right, the screws are off. So the way to take these cables out is, I've just been trying to pull it, but you press down on this. Okay, so you press that down, and then you pull it. I can't do it with one hand. So we press this down, and then pull it, press that down. So the black cable, also, you press down in the middle, and then you pull it out. Again, I can't do it because I'm using one hand. Okay, so press down in the middle here, and then just pull as hard as you can, and that will come out. Okay, so we've got the screen here, and now I'm going to show you how to uh, hack it. I suppose, because that is what you're doing. We need a ten, T10 screwdriver for these four screws here. And the ones on the dash, you need a T20. So I had to shake this out and pull, pull on the edges of this. Um, so that's off. And I believe we connect this tiny component here to the cables that you buy from Amazon. Okay, so we've got these two. What you do here, and stick it in, they go in like this, and then this notch you pull down, and that's how it's meant to look. So we plug the programmer into the laptop, or your PC, okay? Right. First, we have to go into CH341 PAR. Open setup. Click yes at the administration prompt. Click install. Yeah, and then what we have to do next is close that down. Go into setup 64. Right click, cut, go back, paste, okay, and then open this, click yes at the prompt, click install, drive install success, click OK, and then close that down. Okay, so once you've installed the uh, software, uh, we need to plug the are linked to a power supply. So the rectangle black cable needs to be plugged into the R link. So go ahead and do that now. And then go into programmer software, right click on CH341A, run as administrator, click yes if you get a prompt. Okay, so it's going to look like this at this point you need to attach the clip to the R-Link. The tiny black socket needs to be uh, clipped on. Make sure it's attached the right way. Ignore the fact that mine is greyed out. It's because I'm in my house on my computer. Okay, so once it's attached, click on read. Yours won't be greyed out. So click on read. If it looks like this, or you just get z double like zeros everywhere, then you haven't attached it correctly. If it's attached uh, correctly, it should look something like this. Now, we need to scroll down to address line B10. Oh. Yep, B10. And following the Word document, 
I've already written the binary code in there. So you just have to literally type that in. So for example, we've got, you know, zero B zero two, and that's literally what you have to do. O two O O O two O O O one and so on. And once you've typed that all in, it should look like this. Yep, so it should look like this um, from B10 to BFO, which is down here. And from C to C90. And that's all you have to do. Once you've typed that in, you need to click right. Yours won't be grayed out, obviously and then verify and once you've clicked verify you can unclip the uh, attachment and then exit the software and that's it that's then put the uh, r link back together uh, if it doesn't show up right away uh, press the uh, home button on the r link five times to make to do a uh, soft reset and then it should be on there thank you for watching uh, Please like and subscribe if it worked. If you've got any problems, feel free to message me on Facebook. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the uh, RS monitor.